Hi to Bell World Recapped here today I am going to explain a Chinese youth romance film called Sweet Combat Spoilers Ahead Watch Out and Take Care In the opening scene we are introduced to Fang Yu the best female MMA fighter in the state she has only recently started taking part in official matches but has had an unbeatable record her recent big win has caused a sensation in the media making her even more popular a flashback shows as Fang Yu telling her wealthy businessman grandfather that she wants to be a fighter she was always expected to help the family business growing up hence her grandfather was very disappointed then we are introduced to Ming Tian a young man living in Macau he has two younger siblings currently studying in middle school the kids are Ming Tian's responsibility since their mother abandoned them in their father passed away his brother loves watching MMA fights on TV and his favorite fighter is Fang Yu who he refers to as the queen to earn for his younger siblings Ming Tian had to drop out of college and start working as a delivery guy at a local restaurant currently he is trying his best to get into a college with a decent scholarship to continue his education one day at work he is asked to deliver food to a local martial arts teacher the job is difficult because the place is 20 minutes away but the receiver wants the food in less than 15 during the time of pressure we get to see Ming Tian's great sense of direction he has basically memorized every street and shortcut in the city which helps him do his job efficiently when almost at the destination he sees a poor street vendor trying to collect fruits that have fallen from her cart as he helps her the cart runs down the street this is when the MMA fighter Fangio appears in the scene and kicks the cart to stop it from moving further it does more Damage than good as the cart breaks and all the fruits are destroyed when asked to apologize to the vendor she simply hands her a bundle of money for the damage and walks away Ming Tian huffs at the rude girl and continues his way to make the delivery Fangio then goes to her former martial arts teacher and asks him for help she is being pressured by her family to leave MMA and join their business confused she wants him to make the decision for her but the teacher refuses to do it as the decision is hers and hers alone to make just then Ming Tian arrives revealing that the customer who ordered the food is also the martial arts teacher he and Feng you look at each other but do not share a word before going their separate ways on his way to the restaurant Ming Tian gets an email from a college offering to provide him a 70 scholarship however the college is in another state he is confused if he should move for his education or stay because his siblings are already accustomed to their life in Macau to solve the dilemma he goes to a wisdom fountain and asks the universe to show him the way at the same time Fang Yu is on the other side of the fountain doing the same they think for a while and come to a decision Fang Yu decides to go through with her fighting career while Ming Tian plans to move to another state Ming Tian's boss is a kind man who helps him with the moving process in provides him a job as a delivery guy in the place he is moving to he even offers Ming Tian money and resources if he needs them in the following scene we see Ming Tian and his siblings move into a new house although it is not the best neighborhood the interior of the place is quite homely the kids seem to love it which ultimately makes Ming Tian happy as the first piece of decoration he puts a picture of him and his master on a shelf it is revealed that he used to train in boxing with the master before his death following that Ming Tian takes the kids to school signs into his new job at a KFC then finally goes to the college for the first time he has been enrolled in the best sports college in the state Shangzi before this year the college was all girls in fact Ming Tian will be one of the first guys to go to Shangzi however when he walks in he realizes he might be the only guy among hundreds of girls at the college he starts to wonder if he misread the offer letter because not a single man is in sight the girls are intrigued by the only man and it doesn't help that he is also very handsome suddenly he bumps into Xiaomi a tomboyish student who loves to box and skate Ming Tian mistakes her for a guy and instantly starts chatting about how grateful he is to find another male instead of correcting him Xiaomi simply puts a tiny pink clip on her hair and introduces Herself a shocked Ming Tian apologizes before she skates away while glaring at him The president and a teacher named Mr. Wang are worried because initially 10 men had applied to The college but after taking a tour and seeing only girls all of them requested a transfer. Currently Ming Tian is the only one left the president orders Mr. Wang to do whatever it takes.
to keep him content so he won't leave they want to expand the college's horizons and the presence of male students will take a huge part in that outside the girls start going crazy because of ming tian they block his way offering help that he clearly doesn't need one of the girls and xiaomi get into an argument regarding who gets to take ming tian to the principal's office the conflict only ends when he tricks them into looking the other way and runs away while he is at it he happens to bump into fun yu he instantly recognizes her as the rude girl from macau she accidentally cuts his hand with her bag and gives him money to apply a bandaid to it ming tian is furious at her materialistic behavior he demands an apology but to fang yu money is superior to an apology before leaving ming tian calls her a manalis freak which triggers a childhood trauma in fang yu a flashback shows us that fang yu kicked the car that day to save a little girl crossing the road in front of them her intentions were pure but it caused the street vendor to suffer a loss in class ming tian sits among several girls in his clearly uncomfortable the girls cannot help but stare at him even though he doesn't fancy the attention meanwhile xiaomi and fang yu are training together in the college's boxing club it is revealed that they are best friends who share a common interest in boxing xiaomi sees that something is bothering fang yu on being asked fang yu claims that the new guy's harsh comments made her rethink her behavior in the following scene she is at home thinking about ming tian yet again a flashback shows us that when she was little her parents refused to acknowledge that she was a girl they always wanted a son so when she was born they treated her like one she wasn't allowed to grow her hair or wear girly clothes her naive mind only understood that she was a girl when her younger brother was born only after his birth did her parents allow her to wear dresses overjoyed at finally being able to express herself she went to her crush and gave him a gift but since all her friends thought she was a boy they called her a freak the incident bothered her so much that she still struggles with her gender identity meanwhile at ming tian's home his brother wakes up in his sleep and throws punches in the air ming tian laughs at his cuteness before realizing that the girl he argued with as his brother's idol he thinks to himself that fangio's eyes resemble his mother's eyes which made him angrier than he should have been earlier that day in college ming tian is continuously bothered by the girls so much so that he can hardly concentrate on studying the president and mr wang on the other hand are overjoyed that he agreed to stay but ming tian is planning to transfer to another college even though they provide less percentage of tuition scholarship the college's diverse clubs are the distinguishing feature unique to it the students spend more time in the clubs comparatively then their studies in the clubs their talent and skills are polished and showcased at an international level some girls take boxing some take taekwondo some gymnastics and so on fun you and xiaomi are in the boxing club the freshmen are encouraged to take a tour of all the clubs to choose one that they would like to join during the tour ming tian checks out the boxing club and finds xiaomi and fun you fighting he is mesmerized by fun you skills that are very similar to his masters he assumes that she must have trained with the same master but dismisses the thought the girls force ming tian to be in their clubs and even fight each other for the same reason to get rid of them ming tian disregards his interests and decides to join the swimming club the one with the fewest members he confidently goes to the pool and takes a dive waiting for the instructors to arrive but strangely enough the pool is filled with several fish a woman informs him that the club has been disbanded due to low enrollment and the swimming pool has been modified into an ecological pool this is the last straw for ming tian he decides to transfer to another college even if it means paying more tuition fees he brings his concern to mr wang who begs him to stay he even takes a picture of ming tian to put its silhouette in front of the men's bathroom being constructed down the hall but the honor isn't enough to make ming tian stay when he repeatedly requests mr wang reveals that the transferring process is quite easy he will have to fill out a form and post it to the college's filing box ming tian does as told but is faced with a slight problem when he goes to post the former group of women who claim to be the first graduates of the college stops him they have been unofficially appointed by the president to stop ming tian from getting to the filing box the trained women easily defeat him and send him back to mr wang's office the teacher refuses to let ming tian transfer but offers him a more appealing deal he promises to extend his student loan payment period to 30 years with zero interest ming tian will be studying for free if he 
takes the deal with his current financial condition he doesn't want to miss such an opportunity. Still the pressure of being the only guy among hundreds of girls is too much for him he decides. To consider the idea later Ming Tian goes to a bathroom to change but it turns out to be. Women's he bums into a naked fun Yu who kicks him to the ground as the two are you Xiaomi. Barges in and assumes they were doing something fishy the two dismiss her performing Tian walks. Away in the following scene we see Xiaomi thank you and their rival from the taekwondo class at an ice cream parlor arguing about who gets the last scoop of the strawberry flavor meanwhile. Ming Tian is on his way to deliver food when he notices a bully dragging a kid across the street he helps the kid run away but is in turn caught by the bullies they take him to a field and threaten him until the girls arrive on the scene initially they try to solve the problem by talking but when the bullies start getting handsy they get into a fight after a long and entertaining struggle the girls and Ming Tian manage to chase them away Ming Tian is beyond grateful to them and befriends them after the incident because of the girls college life doesn't seem that bad to him even though he might face problems on the way he decides to terminate his transfer and stay at Zhang Zi the very next day he accepts Mr. Wang's offer much to the teacher's delight with his new friends and added advantages Ming Tian hopes to have a smooth college life for the next four years subscribe for more videos like this turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out thank you for watching